गैजेट एंड गिजमोल्स ब्रॉड टू यू बाय वन टच जियो डायबिटीज के साथ खुल के Hello and a very warm welcome on the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me Siddharth Sharma. Now 2014 is here and so are the new shiny gadgets and gizmos to play around with. So if you're wondering what we've lined up for you on the show this week, take a look. On the show this week, we get you a lot of tablet options to play around with. We also get you a Bluetooth speaker. and Wani has been playing on some funny apps All right that is the lineup this week and first up we've got the brand new DSLR camera from Sony the Sony Alpha 7R Take a look at its specs first Meet the all new Sony Alpha 7R and it's about time Sony came up with a good quality DSLR. Sony Alpha 7R is the lightest interchangeable lens camera with a full frame. It boasts of a 35mm full frame sensor with 36.4 megapixel density. You also get Wi-Fi and NFC for connectivity and sharing images on the go. To top it all, it has a magnesium alloy skeleton and it's a masterpiece when it comes to design integrated with technology Sony Alpha 7R is priced at rupees 1 lakh 24990 sure it is expensive but is it worth the money okay those were the specs on the new Sony Alpha 7R and now it's time for a review and we are joined by Ankit Gupta who gets us all the lowdown on the new Sony Alpha 7R Well so that that's right let me introduce you to my new best friend the Sony Alpha 7R this is a camera which is perhaps the best discovery of 2013 and trust me it's going to last you for a very very long time i recently was on a trip to poland and this was the camera that i took along with me just to see how exactly will it work in these freezing weather conditions when we landed in warsaw it was minus 4 and while at traveling we went to minus 12 not even for a second did this camera lag freeze anything of the sort which normally happens in sub zero temperatures the other amazing thing with this camera is the robust magnesium alloy body this camera is super sturdy uh, there was a moment in my trip where uh, i was on a snowmobile and because of my lack of coordination i was flung into 6 feet of snow the thing was that i had this camera around my neck I flew and fell into snow. The more than anything else I was worried that I would have broken the lens or something would have happened. Nothing. Nothing at all, not even so much as a scratch on the camera. Now that is impressive. Sure, this is an expensive piece of uh, device and it costs a lot of money, but trust me it is worth it. Now the other important thing about this camera is there are two kinds of auto modes. Now for a lot of people who are not professional photographers but like taking pictures like I am, auto mode comes to the rescue mostly. There are two auto modes in this camera. One is a superior auto mode and an intelligent auto mode. One of the most difficult things when you are on a trip is to take pictures in the dark. Now Sony Alpha 7R does not have an inbuilt flash. There is no flash on the body. So this was going to be a big challenge. um in poland it it is dark about 3 o'clock in the afternoon it is really dark and you cannot take any pictures if you don't have a flash or so that i thought sony alpha 7r has something called dro d range optimizer which actually looks at the amount of shadow and backlight that you've got in front of an object it analyzes all of that and gives you a natural looking picture even in the dark without any flash I was taking pictures of a lot of Christmas trees in the dark night and as you can see there is very little noise there's very little graininess to it the pictures are just perfect now of course all DSLRs can take pictures in the dark but to get this kind of a result on an auto mode is outstanding some of the most amazing things with this camera are that it is an extremely ergonomic camera the grip is really robust it's compact it does not weigh too much sony alpha 7r packs in a solid 36.4 megapixels and trust me you don't need more than that 
and it is a full frame camera giving you absolutely extraordinary pictures. The other two things I really like about this camera and I read a lot that a lot of people didn't like it is the shutter sound. The shutter sound is a bit louder than any other camera in the market at the moment but trust me I really like this sound. It is I think it is one of the most beautiful sounds you hear when you're taking a picture and everybody else who's around you turns around to look who exactly is taking this picture so that's one added incentive. Other than that the last thing is the inbuilt Wi-Fi with Sony Alpha 7R. The Wi-Fi is seamless. You can automatically, once you connect your phone or any other device with this camera, you can seamlessly send pictures into your phone or your computer and automatically upload them to Facebook, which is why we take a lot of pictures these days, don't we? One of the biggest problem with the Sony Alpha series is the lenses. I use the Sony Alpha 7R with a 28-70 lens. What I would have really liked is a choice from a bigger ecosystem of lenses to choose the perfect lens for the perfect kind of picture. So in the end, should you buy the Sony Alpha 7R? Yes, absolutely. Yes, it is super expensive. Yes, it is fantastic. This is the camera that you want to take on all of your holidays and everyday life to take stunning pictures. Okay, I completely agree with Ankit that Sony Alpha 7R is the best DSLR camera to come out in 2013. And sure, it is expensive because good things don't come cheap at all. Now next up, it's time for some tablet action on the show as we get you a review of the brand new offering from Acer. Acer Iconia W4 is a Windows tablet that might just be the right replacement for your laptop. The W4 features a 8 inch 1280 by 800 pixel display which is a bit reflective yet has great color reproduction. At the back you get a brushed metal finish that gives the tablet some style and substance. At its heart is a quad-core Intel Atom processor with 2GB of RAM and inbuilt 64GB of storage. Iconia W4 gets a decent 2MP camera up front and a 5MP autofocus snapper at the back. The rear camera is capable of shooting 1080p HD videos at 30 frames per second and the results are just about decent. Overall, the W4 has good build quality and a great display. There was just one small niggling issue with this one. The speaker placement is just not right for the landscape use. Barring that, Iconia W4 is a marathon runner when it comes to a Windows tablet. With a single full charge and a moderate usage, it was easily able to last for 8 hours considering it has a 4960 mAh battery on it. And the best part is the price. You can get hold of one of these for just Rs 26,999. Not bad at all considering you get almost a laptop like performance on a tablet. So if you are looking for a Windows tablet in particular, Acer Iconia W4 is one good option to go for. And yes, the W4 is unique as there is no other tablet in the market right now that offers full windows in this size and price. Alright, we don't do this on our show very often, but next up, Vani Agarwal joins us with some political action. Wondering what? Here's how. In the run-up for the 2014 general elections, the app poll is flooded with scores of politically charged apps. But we're going to have a look at some funny ones. Downloaded by over 50,000 users since it came onto the Android Play Store recently, Modi Run is one game that you shouldn't miss. So what's the catch here? Remember the most loved plumber of 1990s? Narendra Modi just replaces Mario in this game. What's even more ironical is that the game is developed by Dixati which is a game developer based in the US. 
um, no pun intended here. Modi Ran is making rounds with Narendra Modi fans as Modi is seen beating obstacles and collecting diamonds at various stages. And these stages are none other than the real states like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan, and so on. Modi Run is a free game available for download on Google Play. So these apps are going to give you a chance to cheer for your favorite political superstar. Based on the famous Angry Birds gameplay theme, Modi vs Rahul takes a dig at the political competition between the two biggies. This is a typical slingshot game. Modi vs Rahul gives you an option to choose your candidate as the hero. The physics on this game are not as dynamic as you see on the Rovio's popular game, but just bearable and delivers some refreshing punch for sure. You get 40 levels to play with, each representing a separate state. This is also a free game on Android smart devices. Third on the line is somewhat may say a propaganda game. The game itself is called Narendra Modi game. Made by Percept Software Creation, this game gives you a nice way to know your candidate and what are his agendas in an entertaining way. And not like how we show it to you every day. Oops, I might get fired for that. Be it Rahul Gandhi, Narendra Modi, or any other political player in the battle for 2014 general elections, I would say these apps have a refreshing look and feel to them. So there are sure sure recommendations from my side. All right, whether you download those apps or not, but one thing that you should do in 2014 is go out and vote. Now, recently Google came up with the Google Nexus 7 2013 version, and there's one more tablet in the market that's giving it a tough competition. Let's take a look at the review of the all-new Zolo Tegra Note. Meet the new Zolo Play Tegra Note. This is a 7-inch tablet with looks similar to the Google Nexus 7. Tegra Note comes with a 7-inch HD IPS LCD display and the screen resolution is decent enough for a 7-inch tablet. Tegra Note is powered by a 1.8 GHz Tegra 4 processor and what's the USP of this tablet is that it has 72 core GeForce GPU and quad-core Cortex A15 CPU on it. And that is where things become good as the Tegra Note provides a seamless computing experience and becomes easily one of the best gaming tablets in the market right now. The tablet is a powerhouse when it comes to gaming. There are no lags and the experience for a gamer will be just astonishing on this one. Zolo Tegra Note runs on the latest Android operating system and also features a 5 megapixel rear camera capable of shooting HD videos and a front facing VGA camera. Tegra Note includes 16 GB of inbuilt storage which is expandable to 32 GB via a SD card slot. The audio quality on this tablet is also amazing as it houses HD audio stereo speakers with a bass reflex port. And with Nvidia's pure audio technology, it offers a really good sound for games and movies. There's also a stylus on the Tegra Note. Remove it from the holster and it opens up a contextual menu that lets you dive into the stylus-friendly apps. Write and Tegra Draw come bundled, but the cool part is that you can add additional downloaded apps to this menu. Zolo Tegra Note lacks 3G, so you are left with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0, USB 2.0, and micro HDMI for connectivity on it. Though it looks like any other 7-inch Android tablet, but this powerhouse tablet is priced at rupees 17,999, which, for the features it has to offer, is not that steep after all. It is also a little inferior to the new Nexus 7 in terms of build and display quality. But then you pay about three thousand more for the Google Nexus Seven. Zolo Tegra Note makes it up for that with a lower price, a useful stylus, expandable storage, and great gaming performance. 
And right now, the Zolo Tegra Note and the Google Nexus 7 are the only two tablets that you should be looking for in this price range. But for people who love gaming on their tablets, the Zolo Tegra Note is a must-have and we at Gadgets & Gizmos recommend it for sure. Alright, trust me guys, Zolo Tegra Note is the best gaming tablet in the market right now. And on that note, it's time for a very short break on the show. But don't go anywhere because there's a lot more action coming your way on the other side. Welcome back, you're watching the Gadgets & Gizmo show with me Siddharth Sharma. Now 2013 saw a lot of innovation when it came to Bluetooth speakers and the trend continues in 2014 as well. So next up, Akansha Shahi joins us with the review of the all new Jam Plus. If you're looking for Bluetooth speakers to listen to music on the go, picnics, camping or even abandoned warehouses, look no further than new Jam Plus Bluetooth speakers. Jam Plus is a compact Bluetooth speaker that has an ergonomically looking cylindrical design and some pretty amazing colours to choose from. It comes with connectivity options of Bluetooth, auxiliary and micro USB. Jam Plus offers you an option of stereo output if you buy these in a pair. HMDX Jam connects wirelessly up to 30 feet away and works with all Bluetooth-enabled smartphones, tablets, laptops and desktops. The rechargeable lithium-ion battery delivers up to 4 hours of wireless play, which is decent enough considering the size of the Bluetooth speaker itself. Jam Plus is attractively styled in a fun way and seems geared towards tweens and young tech users. The body is an all-plastic construction and quite sturdy. Jam Plus definitely looks the part with its trendy design, but does it perform equally well? Let's find out. And when you pair these up with your smartphone, they sure sound good. Even the bass tones are quite reflective considering it's a Bluetooth device at the end of the day. The sheer volume of the speaker will surprise you and the audio quality doesn't distort that much at high volume either. But if an audiophile were listening to them, they would not be that impressed because it does not attract all kinds of audiophiles. But with a price tag of just Rs 3,999, that would be a bit too much to ask. Compact, vibrant and a power-packed performer. Three words to sum up Jam Plus. There's no question that the budget audio company has an ace up its sleeve. With an appealing design, affordable price and the ability to combine another Jam Plus to create a stereo pair, these Bluetooth speakers are a worthy buy. I would give them a two thumbs up. Now January is one month also known for the famous Jaipur Literature Fest and e-book readers are becoming popular in India. So next up we get you a review of the all new Kobo Aura HD. Kobo is certainly not the first company mentioned when talking about ebook readers. But it certainly can be a game changer. With its latest device called Aura HD, which has the highest resolution e ink display we have ever seen. The 6.8 inches e ink screen has a massive 1080 into 1140 resolution and a pixel density of 264 pixels, making the text and images look sharp. It has a front lit LED which enables you to read in the dark, but you will want to lower the backlight to below 50% if you read a lot of comics or graphic novels. As at the maximum setting, the brightness affects the contrast of the images and text. The Aura HD has a touch-sensitive display that's reasonably precise and quick to respond. 
although the device does not have a capacitive touchscreen. We love the angular shape of the device as the grooves at the back allow your fingers to rest while reading, although the corners could mean that it isn't as comfortable to read. The device features 4 GB of onboard storage with an expandable memory with a micro SD card slot. There is inbuilt Wi Fi but no 3G option. Kobo's Reading Life statistics track how long you've read in a particular session. There are 10 different font options to choose from with adjustments for line spacing and font magnification. Kobo Aura HD supports PDF and Mobi format ebooks along with plain text, HTML, XHTML, and RTF files, JPEGs, GIF, PNG, and TIFF images, and the CBZ and CBR compressed comic book formats. The best part of the device is perhaps the battery. You can go up to two months with a single charge if you read for 30 minutes every day with sparing use of the front light. Wi Fi and increased front light will drain the device quicker. Kobo or HD is priced at Rs 14,500 only. Okay, with that, it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of Gadgets and Gizmos show. If you have any comments, suggestions or queries, tweet us at HLTGNG show. You can also email us on hdg at archduck.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Till then, keep watching Headlines Today. Gadget and Gizmos brought to you by One Touch Geo Diabetes Kisat Kulke.